What up, this is July from Kickback Couture. I have a long list of requests and I'm getting to them day by day. This one is going to be how to automate VSTs. It seems like a fairly straightforward process, but sometimes there are occasions where it isn't. So, I am going to discuss that. Let's get into it. I have this MIDI file that I dragged in from the Drenched by Design MIDI kit and it is on the ID8. I'm going to move it down to Electra X and find a patch. You're going to hit this automation button up here and then click a parameter. Uh oh, we can't automate it. So keep in mind, not every VST will be easily automatable. In this case, uh, it's definitely not, not possible by doing that. So if we come to the MIDI section and over here in the, the, what's it called? Automation area, we'll get the different groups. In which case we can automate the volume here and we can get the different, pretty much every parameter on Electra. But by clicking, it would not work as we've seen. Just a, a malfunction probably has something to do with reasons compatibility with VSTs in general. So we will get an update on that soon. Now let's try laying down a track with Silk from UJAM and see how we can automate this one. Now, before I even laid down a track, I decided to hold down the automation button or click the automate button and then press a button and it worked. We got a automation zone right in this area. So this one is in fact compatible and we don't have to go to automate it manually by clicking this area here or even this area up here which they are the same, both this area and this area up here will give you all the automation parameters available on a rack extension, VST effect, whatever it may be, instrument, the world is wide open. All right, let's go ahead and get this, this track together. How about automate, we'll automate the position. So click automate, then click on position and then we have a automation lane created right here for us and guitarists when they play live they do you know fair, their fair share of movement so it's never never necessarily going to be a static a static position so let's just go ahead and move that around a little bit. Now let's go ahead and add an effect. I'm going to route both of these to my melody bus, which is just a, a bus in which I have multiple melody effects for fast creation. Here I have Looperator. Let's say I want to do a, a vinyl effect on the first beat. And I must turn it on first. And that is here. All right, don't really like those. Let's try something else. That one's pretty cool. Let's say we didn't want this to play every time that the downbeat of one came about. We're gonna click automate and then we can click this mix knob right here, 
which will determine how much that effect is mixed into our signal. It goes from 100% to 0%. So let's put it at 100% here and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Now let's bring it down to zero here. And that should be good enough. If you want to make cleaner, cleaner automation, then what you want to do is either click it in instead of holding it like I did, and then drag this back. And there you have a cleaner automation. You can also use the tool window. Now I have a clip and it's a mess. So let's say we want to clean this up. What we're going to do is open up the tool window as it is here, which is F8. And we see automation cleanup. So right about now it's on normal. We can change it to maximum if we'd like to and then hit apply and it will clean it up for us so if I had the the crazy one that I had at first it would automatically clean it up for us and we can make it easier from there. But as I showed you before, it's a lot easier to click everything in and move as such. But there are multiple ways to get any job done. So if you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kick back, and cook up.